Here's how to add a manual task in KW Command. So you're going to be able to have tasks show up right here in your dashboard. And these are created both by um, tasks from your smart plans and by tasks that you manually assign. So let me show you an example. One, if you click here on tasks, you can access your task window. So let's say I want to go ahead and manually assign a task. Maybe, maybe it's not even related to a client. It's a to-do thing, and I want it to show up in my dashboard tomorrow or whatever. So I'm going to go over here to the right-hand side, and I'm going to click Create a New Task. Now up here, task name, I'm going to say Book Flight to Chicago. Now, what, what time do I want it to show up? So I can click All Day or I can choose the date and time. So maybe I want it to show up tomorrow at 1 p.m. because that's, I don't know, that's when I'm in the afternoon on my dashboard. Or you can have it show up all day. Now task description, I can say book flight to Chicago for at your command coaching class, okay? Then here I can add a hyperlink if there is one. So let's just say, Maybe I want to add my Southwest Airlines, you know, whatever, the URL there so I can quickly click that task and move on that I might paste that right there, okay? Now, we can be finished and click Create Task. Also, we could connect a contact, okay? So I could click Associate Contacts, and let's say Jeff and I are going together, so I want to find Jeff Helvin in here for some reason. Uh, let's do Helvin. There we go. I can add him now and click Associate Contacts. Now that doesn't mean he's going to get anything on his dashboard at this point. It might be nice later if we have task management we can share. But what it means right now is that I can click there and access um, Jeff from there, like, you know, it's just associated with. Now, the other thing we could do is we could go into contacts and let's say I'm on the phone talking to Aaron and Aaron and I talk about the fact that now we're going to, um, I, I want to send Aaron a thank you card um, after our conversation for some reason, okay? Or I want to send him a note or a follow-up email, this is what we talked about today, whatever. I can now go over here to tasks, click tasks, add the plus, and do the same thing. Send thank you card, and I want it to go out in two days, and whatever we want here, yada yada, and maybe here I'm going to put my link to send out cards, which is where I send my cards from. Okay, so I can add, come back here, and I can add that right there create a task. Now it'll show up in my dashboard. And then once I complete the task, I have a couple options. I can snooze it, I can archive it, or I can click complete and make notes once it shows up there. Okay. Now on the bottom right hand side, I just want to show you something else. On the bottom right hand side, now we have this plus sign. If you click plus, you can calendar an event, you can add a note, you can add an activity. So let's say I talk to Aaron. And I, I go ahead and I assign that task to send him a card. But maybe we have an appointment. I can actually click Add Calendar Event. And this is why you want to sync your calendars, your Gmail calendar. I can click Save. And now, do you want to send inv invitations? Well, I don't want to right now because I don't really have an appointment with Aaron. But if I did, I could now send him an, um, an uh, appointment. But you have to connect your Google Calendar for this piece to work, OK? Then in addition, plus, we you can make a note, and the note is just for you. Um, conversation, talked about real estate needs, going to consider selling after Maddie graduates in 2021. I'm gonna make a note, okay? So I signed a task to send him a thank you card. Maybe I calendared an appointment to follow up. Maybe I um, made that note. And then your other option here is activity. Now look at this, add activity, interaction type. So instead of just a note 
that we talked, I can actually say we had a meeting, we had a call, we had a text, or make a quick note. So let's say call. We talked today on September 22nd. Um, discussed real estate needs, looking to sell after Christmas, whatever, right? And then has responded by checking this box, you're noting that you have you have been interacted with this contact. You have been interacted with? <laughs> if applicable, this will remove this contact from all outcome-based smart plans such as eight by eight, 10 days of pain. All right, so let's just say you put somebody on an eight by eight. So it's a super, it's gonna be a more aggressive, it's gonna have neighborhood nurtures, yada, yada. If you click has responded, this is saying that it's going to remove the contact from those from that follow-up and the concept here is that you're not sending like hey do you want to have coffee when you just talk to them about having coffee right so if you're talking to them you can click has responded remove him from the smart plan then you can assign what you want to do next so you can manually assign a task to follow up or you can assign your next smart plan whatever that might be or you can uncheck that box and leave them on the smart plan. So you have several options there. So that's those are various ways for you to assign tasks, appointments, activity, follow up within the contact itself. This is one of my favorite things about KW Command is how we're now able to interact with a contact. I'm Lori Ballin in Las Vegas, and I very much appreciate your real estate referrals.